Welcome back my fellow makers and foam fanatics. Today I'm going to show you how to make a foam sister of battle helmet right here on the Old Head channel. In this episode, we'll be using my friend Mellow Mind's Sister of Battle pattern. Uh, it's in the, his Etsy store, which I have the link just below. Click on that, download it, print them out, and let's build this helmet together. For the build today, we're gonna be using Mellow Mind's Battle, Sister of Battle helmet. Uh, and again, he has great instructions on it and he steps up and of course you can see that we're gonna go ahead and start with the base of the helmet first and start adding all the additional pieces. To save time, I went ahead and cut all the parts out. Everything you see right here has all been cut out square and all 90. Go ahead and just jump on to the main helmet. These are the two sides with the right and the left, two joining sides and the tops for that as well. So again, I would like the heat curlies first. Let's get the board. So let's start with the two side pieces. I have this big acrylic dome, like a little three inch dome I like to use sometimes, just especially for things like this. There you go, that helps get a little bit of that curl. And the rest of it, you can just do with your hand, just kind of bend it a little bit. For this piece, I just want to curl it a little bit. It doesn't need to be bent so much as to curl, just do a little bit of a curl to it. Our main helmet base has all been heat curled. Now our next step is to be gluing them together with our contact cement. Uh, when gluing pieces, I like to do it one side at a time. So let's go ahead and pick with one here. So I'm gonna start with these two first. Now when applying contact cement, I always like to have a little bin here of uh, scrap foam pieces because I put my glue on, sometimes a little heavy handed like this because I like to work fast. And then I come back in with a piece of scrap foam. What that does, it smooths everything out. And also the thinner it is, the faster it dries. And then we do the same thing on the inside lip here. Uh, while these two are drying, just to save time, let's jump on and do the same thing on this side. Again, here we go, starting. And I always like to touch the uh, top edges first. This helps me really um, narrow down and limit our seam problems. All right, that's our left side. Let's jump onto the right. All right, we have our right and our left's now done. We're gonna move on to the, uh, this is actually part number one. This is two, this is three. So this is the, I believe the left side of that. We're gonna do that one now. Okay, it's dry, same drill. We're gonna line it up. Now see this flare here? What I do is I like to bend in like this. See it, because it's overlapping, but to have this lined up nice, you bend it inward like this and just touch the top edges first. Just do that. Focus on the edge, touch it, right, like that. Make full contact, and like that. And then once you have it, you flip it back out like this, see, like so. All right, we have the right and the left together. This looks awesome. Now the big part is to glue them to get up, see again, it's starting to come off. When stuff like this happens, you can actually just go back, push it, hold it, see, and it sticks. Sometimes it does that because it's still wet. Once it dries though, you can actually push it back in. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply contact cement to our, uh, our edge. All right, let's start with the front. I'll line it up. So you can see I'm kind of pushing the helmet on top of the table. You can see things kind of line up. Just want to kind of push the foam together. Just like that. And now it's the part where you bend inward. You touch those edges first, just like that. You contact, there you got it. Flip it back out. All right, there's the base of our sister of battle helmet. This is coming together. This looks great. We're gonna go ahead and set this aside, let this dry a little bit longer. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of our parts here. These, this is the um, the bottom jaw of the helmet. This is the top of the helmet, and this is just below the pieces there too, is the eye sockets. So we're gonna go ahead and heat curl these next. Cool, there you go, there you go slightly. Yeah. 
the uh, pieces of a heat curl. This is the top of the helmet. This is the uh, mouth guard, which is, oh, there it is. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these guys together. Okay, the glue is dry. Let's go ahead and put some pieces together here. This is gonna be the jaw, the lower jaw. Like that. That looks great. That's the bottom. Do that. Got the eye pieces right here. And again, on these eye holes, you guys can see I cut, I like the bevel into it. So when you put stuff behind it, it kind of has, kind of, don't really see the edge, kind of disappears. Top of the helmet here. All right, there it is. All right, we have all these parts now glued together. We're going to move on to the ears. Here they are. And I used a circle cutter to cut these guys out. This is, love this thing. It's awesome. Uh, when I cut these guys out, now what we're going to be doing on the circle template, he has a um, little template for uh, lining things up. And these were these little uh, pieces that went on here. If you notice, they're round and he had them going all the way up to the edge. And for me, just aesthetically, um, I didn't like them touching the edge. I liked them if they would back them up a little bit. So what I went ahead and I just compensated, I made them a little bit shorter. So then when they sit on there, they kind of sit on the inside. Gives the, so it gives this ring a little bit of a border. So let's go ahead and trace this like I did the other one here. Now for the detail pieces here, we all cut them out in two millimeter. And you can see right here, <clears throat> they're rounded on the edge. So I went ahead and I'm plot out, but I'm gonna cut these guys with some scissors. I trimmed off most of them with the scissors, but they definitely need to be uh, cleaned up a little bit better. So I'm gonna go back in with a rotary tool. Okay, all are nicely cleaned up and rounded with the rotary tool. Let's go ahead and glue these guys on to a piece of cardboard. We're gonna apply contact cement. What I'm gonna do is take these guys and apply contact cement by like having this on poster board. Therefore, I can put the glue on and cover the entire area like this. I have complete covers there, just like that. All right, our earpiece details are done. Now we're gonna go back to our main helmet. It's uh, been good, the glue's been set a little bit like 45 minutes, so it's nice and dry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, it's kind of a little, some edges a little bumpy and wanky. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and reheat this helmet. All right, now that's hot, what I do is I hold this guy back in shape, kind of push everything back in shape. And while it's cooling, all right, now it's cooled, holding the shape. This allows us to kind of line this piece up here. And you can see where it's gonna to touch the helmet. Let's touch, um, let's take a look at our, our instructions here. You can kind of see in the image, we glue this guy on. So this gets glued on. And I know for a fact the mouth guard that goes here, we're not gonna glue this on. This is gonna be part, I'm actually gonna hook this up with magnets, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll talk about that later. And glue this on, we're gonna glue this. I tell you what, we're gonna glue this on first. Let's go to the bottom half. Okay, now the glue is dry. We're going to go ahead and set it back halfway to create that little bit of that lip. Yeah, see, it looks good. I like that. The same thing here, too. Fantastic. All right, now that guy gets glued onto this. We gotta find the placement for it. Let's go ahead and glue these guys on, and that will kind of help us find where this is all gonna to fit together. So let's do that. Make sure they stay level. We're gonna do like, um, on the helmet like this. Straight them down. Yeah, there we go. See, I like that. Yeah, that really did pull, pull us together. That's perfect. There we go, looking good. We're gonna do the trim on this guy. I mean, probably in the bottom. Let's do that. So you like this, it wraps, make our mark, right? So it wraps, comes around. Right, like that, got it, okay. Okay. Got it, all right, now apply contact cement to our foam triangle. And here we go, very carefully on our edge. Now 
Here's the tricky part. I always like to kind of make sure these guys touch first. So you push it in, make sure they touch. Better contact. Good. Looking good. Let's do the other side. Yeah, this foam trim, dude, just is a, such a game changer. <laughs> They used to cut this stuff by hand, and now you can just buy this stuff. It's wonderful. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and place the uh, our visor on here. I want to make a mark where this starts, so let's do this. I, I you know, let's pin it first. Let's make sure everything fits here first. So what I do is I pin the guy in place so it doesn't move, right? So what we do is gonna lay out our glue here, so it's glue's gonna go. Take our pins out. Apply our contact cement. Now you can see, I'm only gonna apply contact cement on the edges, just where I know it needs to make contact and stick really well. So we'll do that. All right, I thought about this. Let's go ahead and put this on while the contact cement is still wet. Give me a little bit of working time to get things to sit in place. Line it up. Pin it. Like that. Put this guy right like that. See, it's sticking, nice, nice, nice. There it is, you can see it coming together. All right, here's the pattern. You guys can see right here, his little, like a little lineup. He's saying, this is where it says, do not glue on these tabs. So, craft knife and uh, take this pattern. I'm just gonna cut it a little, uh, and then cut a corner. Like that, see? So he gives us that, so we can put it on the pattern like this. Make my mark, both sides. And that is where it's supposed to touch. All right, I went ahead and positioned it where I like it. I'm gonna take this marker and I'm gonna mark these edges right here. That's gonna be my contact point. Is that the, the sister battle, they have these helmets on and sometimes like, like a night helmet you got, or like Robocop, this lower half you can see their face. So the whole plan would have this to come off. So, so you could re reach up and take this off and have this hooked up with magnets. So you could just go pop. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I like it. Okay, guys, while you were gone, <laughs> um, I actually went back and redid the uh, the face shield. I realized that when I went to study the pattern, this piece goes on and this piece here glues and the other part goes underneath, allowing this beak. If you guys can see it right here, see the extra, see it there? That goes actually underneath, which gives it this beak look. And as for the mouth, I went ahead and put, of course, magnets. I just went ahead, put a little wood burner action, burn in there and put some earth magnets in there. So it's snapping. That is all done. So our next step is I'm going to take the rotary tool with my tapered stone bit here. I'm just going to just go over the high points and the edges. Okay, the gap filler is now dry. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm brushing on the rapid fill on the underbelly spots right here and here. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our sanding sponge. That's sanding sponge and go over this whole thing and sand it down. Fantastic, everything is sanded. Looking over, this looks great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and proceed to uh, mount this. I have a... Uh, little stand I built here, but a little piece of foam on top. And what I like to do is take a little bit of glue, especially my Sure Bonder hot glue gun with my Sure Bonder glue stick. I'm gonna dab a little bit of glue on the top. And I don't, I don't go crazy with the glue. I hold it just enough to hold it in place. Bring it down like this. This will keep it from moving around when I'm sealing it. Speaking of sealing, I'm gonna be using the Creature Cast rubber again. This is, oh, I'm so, sorry, a little bright here. Let me turn this off for a second. This is Creature Cast Rubber. This is the semi-rigid, which is my personal favorite because it's flexible, but it also rigid enough. So it kind of pulls off and makes it really good uh, coating when you're making armor and especially props. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on with my, with my critter gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up this gun, take it to our spray booth and let's seal it.
Ta-da! There it is. Um, this is a good two to three coats of creature cast on this stuff. It's beautiful. It's dry. This looks amazing. Very, very happy with it. Of course, uh, when spraying, I forgot to do the face shield, um, but I went ahead and added some, the more I looked at it, I thought it'd be kind of cool. So I went ahead and add some uh, two millimeter detail to it. And of course the magnets drop in. Look at that. Um, when sealing it, I put on pretty heavy and some drips started happening. Um, so I went in while it was still wet with a chip brush and just gently wiped off some of the drips. And you can see it left a little bit, a little bit of um, some brush marks, but not a lot. They're pretty faint. So I'm pretty sure that um, it put on pretty thick. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sanding sponge. Let's see if we can just minimize the, uh, the, uh, the brush strokes. Oh, wow, look at that, taking it down really nice. All right, I'm really happy with this, the sanding. It's coming together, looks really good. I hit all the rough spots. I know I'm gonna paint this, so there's two colors. There's white and there's black. And uh, always, when you're, I found that when you're painting, always start with the lightest color first. So this being the visor, being white, we're gonna Rust-Oleum 2X wipe. This is the, um, it's gonna be the gloss finish on it. So we're gonna go ahead and take this guy to the spray booth and lay down our Rust-Oleum 2X gloss white. Oh, there it is, the Sister of Battle white base. Man, it's really white right now. Um, it's dry, so what we're gonna do, our next step is going to mask off the rest of this and paint this flat black. This, of course, has got my Rust-Oleum 2X flat black. We're gonna be masking today with some uh, frog tape I have here. I got some 3M tape and some frog tape, but um, this is a bit wide. I'm gonna cut it in strips. So I'm gonna take the frog tape, we're just gonna cut it in some thinner strips, be a little more manageable. You can buy thinner tape, but I, I find it's just easier just to cut some strips with the tape you already have. Cover the big spots. Getting there, getting so close. Throw a piece of tape here. Okay, the white is completely masked off and I would recommend highly recommend that when you do this go back through and double check all your little corners and stuff or make sure you haven't missed any spots oh see look at that right there just just as i said it i see a little bit of white poking through when you're overlapping tape on top of tape see there got it um double check and make sure everything is covered this looks great all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and take my um ultra flat black but tell you what before we do i'm gonna shake this up a little bit 2x flat black All right, there it is, the flat black, this is awesome. Let's just go ahead and do the demasking. Take the tape off, let it leak through. Mm, see, tape wasn't all the way down, that's all right. There we go. Look at that. Good gracious, that's super cool. Okay, we're gonna put down some cardboard because we're now gonna start aging this. I went ahead and mixed some, I got my um, burnt sienna and some Mars black and I got a little bit of water, mixed them in a cup. Now I know what you're thinking, The on top of the black, it's like even though it's gonna, probably gonna wipe some of this off, just wanna have it just kind of break it up, make it nice and dirty. I'm gonna come back with our paper towel and do some blotting. This is looking good, yeah, I like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, step back for a little bit. All right, it's all nice and dry. Get my bottle of alcohol. And again, this is so great because this is Rust-Oleum 2X paint, so it's really durable. So you can wipe off the acrylic without any fear of damaging the paint underneath. And I like it because it, it takes it off very lightly. And you see if we can do a little more control in your aging. All right, I wiped off most of it. it. Looks all right. I have to admit, I probably would have next time would have made it a little bit lighter. I think I'm a little too heavy. 
on my wash. Should be a little bit transparent, but it's okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and I have some of uh, my oils. I got my burnt umber, uh, raw sienna, and black oils I mixed together. Now with a softer brush, I'm gonna kind of like, kind of fade them out a little bit like this. With a paper towel, I'll wipe off the excess here. For the helmet, I want to do a little bit more of a, a more of a fade underneath the uh, the visor here. Take off my excess with a paper towel. Yeah, this looks great. What we're gonna do next is I have a little bit of a Tamaya silver, some nicks and scratches on it. Went ahead and did this. We got the silver. Nicks and scratches looks great. So now we're gonna take it to the spray booth and dust it. Now I'm not gonna go heavy. This is uh, the uh, 2X Clear really gloss. And you can, you can make it super shiny, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stand back a little bit and just dust it, which will give it a bit of a sheen and seal it and make these colors pop a little bit more. But I don't, wanna, I don't wanna go too heavy with it. I don't wanna go too shiny. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, while the clear coat is drying, this is a PETG plastic. I made a template for the eyes, for the visors and it's got plastic on it. It's a little protective film, and it's on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and peel that off. Now, I went ahead and I got some red, red Mylar. This stuff is mirrored, red mirrored Mylar. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and peel these guys off and stick them on this. This little, little protective film on the back, you just peel that to expose your sticky side. So what I do is I dab a little uh, window cleaner on it. All right, put the red side down. Here. And then with my card, chase out the bubbles. And make sure those bubbles are out. Now that we have them, we're gonna take these guys and we have to get a heat board because I've discovered that to activate the uh, the adhesion on the plastic, you gotta apply heat. I used to use a hair dryer, but I think we just do it really fast with a heat gun. Ooh, look at that red lens. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's go ahead and glue these guys on. Okay, I went ahead and positioned <laughs> the helmet so we can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, I'll get the lenses right here. And Got this guy, he's gonna drop in just like this. And then take my hot glue, I'm gonna hold that. And I'm also gonna hit this corner over here. And yeah, good old fashioned, just hold it till it cools. All right, excellent. Oh, look at that. Placing the lens in, just, oh yeah, fits much better now. Okay, they're dry, just hold on. Let's back this up. Oh, 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 look at that. Let's kill this light. There you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. And they get the red mirrored lenses. That looks great. Let's go, well, let's go higher for you guys. There you go. That's awesome. And let's put the jaw in. Wow. Look at that. Our sister of battle. Helmet is done. For the Emperor. <laughs> All right. There it is. Everything I used on this build is listed just below the video. And again, shout out to my friend Mellow Mine for this amazing Sister of Battle helmet pattern. This is great. I love how it turned out. Again, guys, speaking of patterns, I have them on my website as well at eviltedsmith.com. Jump over there, check out the patterns. And this is your first time watching my videos, please hit that subscribe button. By you subscribing to my channel helps me keep making videos. And if you really wanna show some support, uh, you can jump onto my Amazon, 
and do shopping through that because the holiday seasons are here. You got Halloween and Christmas around the corner. By you shopping through my Amazon link helps me keep making videos. This has been a great build. I'm really digging the Warhammer stuff. I also have a Space Marine helmet in my store as well. I'm really digging the Warhammer stuff, guys. This has been fun. I feel I'm be making some more Warhammer stuff in the future. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching and joining me on this build. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up. And if you guys end up building one of these helmets, please uh, post a picture and tag me on all social media. Until then, I will catch you back next time right here on the Evil Ted channel. Dun, dun, dun.